If you will turn in your Bibles to the book of Proverbs in the Old Testament, we will begin reading in chapter 3, verse 34. Mark Scorn, I suggest you lend an ear to this passage. Verse 34 says, Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. But what does this mean? Well, those with overinflated opinions of themselves will be humiliated in the face of God. In contrast, those who admit their own weakness and limitations can find mercy and grace in God. Mark Scorn, I hope this answers your question. And verse 35 says, I'm in the drum bumping Benny type beats. I'm into lung punctures, knife crime, it verifies me. Mind, body, soul sunken. When the monkeys come running out, pump stump and terrified jeans look. Mix the loud puff and berry psyche. I miss the smoke dwellers, entities with penny wise dreams. We invoke ghosts to strategize sprees, involving cutthroat approach, make cunts choke, antagonize streets. I hope this two pence I'm throwing heightens these jokers, but I'm sure it's futile since the mass is bogus. Kinda like when the Pope. Or Archbishop was chosen to bump the conquest of Romans. But truth be told, you don't believe this shit. But hell's still a no go. Are you zoning? The devil's here on your shoulders. Should come to me, let me mold him. It's facts. Why are these little fools satisfied with Gucci outfits? Risking their so called freedom for whips, chains, with jewels around it. From H&M to Louis Gauntlet's There ain't a man-made thing that should match your prowess That's the true mark of a narcissist Ever since I engaged in the harshest Indulgence of witchcraft, mixed concoction Spliff sparks sick convulsions Bin scars still thinking about which path is chosen Yo, despite many things I really take my time to try and measure this Infectious influenza What I'm dishing till in deficit my silent patients pump reps of this 